In our spotlight on Business Report, the owners of two now defunct nursing homes are getting booted from New Jersey's Medicaid program. Acting State Comptroller Kevin Walsh announced that starting in March, Princeton Care and Woodland Behavioral and Nursing Center will be suspended from Medicaid, its primary source of funding. The owners were given 100 days to divest from the other nursing homes they own in the state. Princeton Care, you'll recall, is the center that ran out of cash and abruptly evicted residents in one day on September 1st, leaving some sitting in wheelchairs on the sidewalk waiting for family members to pick them up. Walsh's report accused the owners, Gail and Ezra Bogner, of, quote, recklessness and neglect that caused serious harm and trauma to the residents of the center. Last month, the owners of Limecrest Subacute Rehab Center in Andover were also given 100 days notice to cut ties with the company that controls the nursing home or face Medicaid suspension. These are the same folks who owned Woodland Behavioral and Nursing Center, which was once New Jersey's largest nursing home. That got shut down by the state in 2022 for failing to protect the health and safety of its residents.